Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Wrexham AFC versus Bradford City match vlog. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could check it, 250 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so, and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below on today's game. It's obviously going to be very tough. I think Wrexham have only lost like one in their last 50 home games. Their home form has been absolutely incredible. In terms of a score prediction, I'm going to go with a 3-0 defeat on Fortress today. Probably Elliot Lee's going to get on the score sheet. Paul Mullin is pretty inevitable as well. But my first time going to the race course, looking forward to it. Obviously, I didn't go earlier on in the season when we played in the AFL Cup. We've drawn both games so far this season. One all, obviously winning the cup match on penalties. So we've got some confidence to take away from it from that point of view. The only team to beat Wrexham at their ground so far this season was Graham Alexander's MK Dons. So there is some positive signs. Make sure to drop a like on their for me. Subscribe if you are new as well. And shall see you all once team news is out. Here we have it then. Here's how we line up for today's game away at Wrexham. Two changes from last week with McDonald and Young both dropping down to the bench. Obviously Young hasn't trained all week. With Andy Cook coming back in and also a start for Callum Kavanagh which I am a big fan of. Surprised to see Chapman get a start once more after his pretty underwhelming performance last week. I would have personally maybe gone with someone like a Bobby Poynton. The defence looks pretty strong. Fingers crossed we can get the three points. Let's get into it. <laughs>
me. Wash your mouth out, son, and go get your father's gun. And shoot the lead scum, shoot the lead scum. This 29 is a very good player, he's causing us a lot of problems. Richard's going off with injury, Kevin McDonald coming on, Gilead goes to left wing back, it took us like three or four minutes to decide to make that sub. McDonald's on. There's our time, no more. It's really not a bad half, they've definitely been a better team, but they're defending very well so far. Ref's not particularly great either.
by far the greatest tent the world has ever seen. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. What an ending that is. 250 likes would be massively appreciated. Get in there. And the Andy Cook. Andy Cook.